it's Sunday and today I just feel like hanging around the house and making meatloaf. I'm just adding some breadcrumbs. I'm using two pounds of ground beef and a cup of seasoned breadcrumbs. Now I'm going to add some Cajun seasoning. Slap your mama. I'm using the same measuring cup and just beating two eggs and a splash of milk. I just like enough liquid to wet those breadcrumbs. And that was half and half. We very seldom ever buy milk unless the grandkids are coming. And now I'm just gonna use my built-in mixers and get this meat mixed together. And now that I have all of those ingredients mixed together, I'm just going to press this um, ground beef mixture out to all the corners and just kind of make sure that it's the same thickness all around so that it cooks evenly and we get nice similar size pieces every time we cut it. Sorry, <laughs> sometimes it's hard to talk and work at the same time. And the most exciting thing about this meatloaf is going to be what we use for toppings. Because today we are going to top it with some bacon and some cheese and possibly some onions. All right, into the oven we go. And I tend to cover it with foil, bake it, and then like partway through, I'll remove the foil, drain some of that grease that's going to be on there. And this is going to shrink as well. And then put it back in to finish cooking. Because I don't care for raw onions, I just put them on top while this meatloaf was baking. I did have it in there for about an hour. And I just drained off that um, oil. Now I'm topping it with cheese slices. These are just the American cheese, the deluxe slices. And I'm gonna make sure that it's completely covered because we really want that cheese to be melty and kind of dribble down the sides of the meatloaf. Of course, you can call for, or you can use any cheese you want. This recipe that I originally saw um, used Swiss cheese, but we don't care for Swiss cheese that much. Now I've got some bacon that I'm just going to crumble on top. I'm literally just going to throw this back in the oven for a couple of minutes until the cheese is thoroughly melted. It's already melting, so it's not gonna take long at all. While the meatloaf is finishing up, I'm just going to make a pouch of four cheese mashed potatoes. The instant kind. Didn't have enough mash or potatoes to do anything else, and I just had one of these in the pantry. I organized my pantry today, and they kind of just jumped out at us. off that eye, get them mixed up really good. I will add some butter, of course some pepper. We'll be good to go. All right, here is my plate. That cheesy bacon, oniony, whatever you want to call it. Maybe a bacon cheeseburger or meatloaf. Sounds right. We're having another 
burger night tonight and to me burgers are the easiest thing ever you just make your patty season them up fry them in a pan and i'm digging out the partial bags of whatever we have which is tater tots and fries a little bit of both all right well here is my plate i have a tomato yes a whole tomato with some salt on it some cottage cheese my burger some pickles on the side some of those french fries i have some mayo on my bun and some provolone cheese on the burger i don't know if i said that but i am also going to top my burger with some a1 steak sauce tonight remember the old commercials for a1 when they used to call a hamburger with a1 on it, a steak burger. So I guess I'm having a steak burger tonight. <laughs> yep, this one's going to require a knife. All right, well, that is what's for dinner Tuesday. I don't know if I mentioned this or not yet this week, but yesterday I didn't feel well and I went to bed early. I ended up having leftover tuna casserole and calling it a day. Sheet pan meals are easy, right? Well, not for everyone. I may want be one of the few people who struggles with sheet pan meals. It can be tricky getting everything to cook um, uniformly. So I'm giving it a shot tonight. I'm not making any promises. So I've got my bigger, thicker ingredients on here already. Um, the potatoes, they're going to take a while. And I'm just throwing on an onion too. So I was a little overthinking and I was like, do I do it in the rows and make it look all pretty? I don't know. I kind of want it all mixed up. So I'm just going to start scattering potatoes and onions all around and I cut my onions in bigger pieces because I just don't want them to cook and disintegrate next I'm adding some bell pepper strips I just bought the Trio uh, bell pepper pack that has the red, the orange, and the yellow peppers. My husband only likes the red peppers. The green bell peppers are my favorite, but I'm sure that he will skip over these if he's given the choice. And I will end up taking them in some dish as leftovers for lunches. I got the frozen asparagus because, you know, it is mid-October. Asparagus is not in season. And this was only $2 and something for the pack. And I figure it's a good bargain. And frozen is the next best thing to fresh. So, So next I'm just going to drizzle some olive oil over everything. I could have done all of this in a bowl or something, but I'm winging it like I always do. Wasn't really sure how I was going to do these this time. And then just kind of spread it around in there. Try to get things as coated as possible. Next, I'm going to just squeeze some garlic in here. It's going to get mixed in eventually. Next, I'll sprinkle on some salt. I'm going to get these started in the oven on 375, and then we'll add our shrimp and smoked sausage in the end. I'm cutting up some smoked sausage into like that size rings. I'm also um, using some shrimp. I had about a half a bag of frozen shrimp in my freezer. 
And this smoked sausage was also some leftover and I want to use these things up. But I want the sausage and the shrimp to be about the same size. I just took the veggies out of the oven. Everything is pretty well cooked, but I'm going to um, melt some butter. I have a whole stick of butter. I'm gonna melt that in my microwave. While I'm giving these veggies a little bit of a turn, kind of mix that garlic around. Trying to get those potatoes turned over. Those are the best when they get really golden on the, the side that's down on the pan. So delicious. All right, I'm doing this one-handed, so I'm just going to flip the shrimp <laughs> and the sausage onto the pan. Whoops, didn't mean to get that close and then use my tongs and kind of mix them in. The shrimp literally take a few minutes to cook up. That's why we want to wait till the very end. And the sausage is already cooked. We're just warming it. So I wanted those veggies to be mostly done. And of course my peppers are very, very done, <laughs> but that's okay because I have to have really well done cooked mushy veggies anyway with one of my uh, stomach disorders and so works out perfect but oh, you know obviously if you are you want crunchy vegetables just take them out earlier so anyway just have everything on there now and I'm gonna mix up that butter and get it ready to pour on top does this dish need any more garlic? Probably not, but I'm gonna add some anyway. And it's not a secret that we love Cajun seasoning, so I'm gonna add some of that. All right, this is going back in the oven to finish up and... Oh. <laughs> I don't know, I might cut that out of this video. Me almost dropping it because, you know, carpal tunnel problems. But anyway, here we go, into the oven. Voila, the shrimp are nice and pink and it is time to dish up our plates for dinner. Dinner for today is lasagna. I'm cooking up a pound of Italian sausage and about a pound of ground beef. I'm trying to do a hundred things at once, including making dinner. So just gonna break it down into steps. And here we go, just getting the meat done first. I have a small amount of salsa in this jar. And you know how I like to just use that up anytime I'm making something that I need tomatoes and onions and peppers so I'm going to add that to that meat and I'm also adding a can of diced tomatoes and green chilies. Next I'll be stirring in a packet of thick and zesty spaghetti seasoning. I'm going to use my favorite burnt up and melted <laughs> spoon to Stir that all together. I'm going to just use the can from the tomatoes to add some water. Just going to stir that around a bit and then just let that simmer. I said I was multitasking today. I am assembling some furniture right now. So I'm just going to keep this on low so that all of the flavors can kind of mix together. 
Silly me, I am back. I wanted to add some brown sugar. Just a little. Some red pepper flakes. I told you I was all over the place. I'm just trying to do too many things right now. And I'm adding some beef base. And a little more minced garlic. But because I'm using oven ready lasagna noodles, I'm gonna add a little more water. I need it to have lots of liquid and also just to mix in with that beef base. All right, I just want a really nice broth. It's time to assemble. I almost put my noodles in without any sauce. That appears to be something in the Pan. But anyway, I'm going to put some of this really liquidy sauce in the bottom of the baking pan. And I did make this really liquidy on purpose because it's going to soak up into the noodles. And that's exactly what I want. So I'm doing a layer of the meat sauce. And now I'm putting some of the oven ready lasagna noodles down. Some more sauce. Now I'm doing a layer of finely shredded mozzarella cheese. Oven is telling me it is ready. I have it preheated to 375. And once I get this lasagna assembled, I'm going to cover it with foil because I want to trap all of the steam inside so that these noodles get nice and soft. And this is like a really beefy flavored meat sauce. With all of that good Italian flavor. Next I do a nice thick layer of provolone cheese. And I do not skimp on the cheese, ever. <laughs> Looks like we have just enough room for another layer of noodles, sauce, and cheese. Sorry, my neighbors are being really loud. They have lots of kids outdoors right now enjoying the last nice days of fall that we have, we're having right now. It's beautiful out today. I actually have some windows open and my front door open. Good <laughs> There will be another layer of mozzarella cheese on this, but I don't have any cooking spray right now, so I don't want to cover with foil and have all of my cheese stick to the aluminum foil. So I'm going to just put this in the oven, let it cook, and then once my noodles are mostly done, or all the way done, I'm going to take it back out, top it with cheese, and then pop it back in the oven to finish off that cheese layer on top. But you want to make sure you get this really tight because you need that steam to cook those noodles. And you can do this with regular noodles too. They don't have to be oven ready as long as you have it wrapped tight so that you're keeping the steam in. Since I already have the oven on and I plan to make some broccoli with um, as a side dish for this 
lasagna today. I'm just going to put it in the oven and just add some butter and salt and pepper. Very easy. I'm feeling quite lazy and not so much in the mood to cook. It's Friday. It's the end of the week. I kind of wanted to go out to eat, but, you know, why? We have food here. So, there's the salt. Plug your ears. Here comes that noise. Some pepper. And I think because it's right here, I'm just going to put a little bit of onion powder on there, too. Voila. Nothing fancy. Just some broccoli. Yeah, so you guys see me do some stuff right now and then. I am... For real, cooking my garlic bread right on top of my lasagna pan here. I'm just going to remove the garlic bread, take off the foil, and put that layer of cheese on. Ooh-wee, that looks good. Last, I'm just going to sprinkle some... Grated Parmesan cheese on top of the whole thing. Okay, there we go. Our last layer of cheese is baked on. And the roasted garlic is ready. <clears throat> roasted broccoli is ready. Garlic bread is already plated up. I'm going to let this rest for a few minutes before I start slicing into it. Now that looks like a beautiful lasagna to me. I ended out the week by going out to eat with my grandsons who just turned 13 and 14 on the 12th and the 14th of October. They chose Dairy Queen and that was fine with me because ice cream is one of my favorite food groups. Thank you so much for coming by for another week of what my family had for dinner. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and I will see you next time. Bye for now.